Some of my friends have been telling me that I need to have an ad or an advertisement before my videos. So, here it is. This episode is brought to you by Terry's Tubular Testicle Tambourine Emporium next to Pete's Punani Filipino Shack on Pennsylvania Boulevard. There. That's my ad. Hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, my name is Sife. if you guys don't already know. If you guys already do know, welcome back to my wonderful world that is my crazy antics and weird commentaries on Black Ops 2. Uh, just want to let you guys know, I'm really excited. I'm really happy. I really like stabbing people in the face. Because I went 57-0 and zero in this game. It's not the best game I ever played. But I'm a little impressed with the fact that I went 57-0 and zero and I was really tired when I did it. That's why I'm, you know, showing this gameplay. I know you guys have that... I know you guys have all experienced it when you guys have been playing Call of Duty or any video game really long. And it's really late at night. And the more games you play, the worse you're getting. So, I was getting kind of frustrated that I was doing really bad. And I wanted to just end the night on a high note. But I was getting so exhausted that I didn't even care anymore. I was just leaning back and just kind of with my head cocked to the side and just kind of like floating in space while I was playing. I didn't even realize that I didn't die in this game until like the very end. So I'm kind of impressed with it. And before anyone starts, you know, commenting and sending the stupid messages, yeah, I was camping a little bit. I get it, but I was tired. If you don't like it, then you get sponsored by Machinima and put up a 57-0 and zero game. Anyway, I hope you guys like it. You know, I'm not exactly, you know, thrilled that I stopped at 57 kills. I wanted to get more, but I was playing the objective. I did collect the most dog tags. So, anyway, I want to talk to you guys about the new map packs and see if you guys are actually excited about them or if you guys are kind of like me, and I'm going to explain here in a second. But first, I want you to see this. Where did this guy come from? Where did he freaking come from? Like some, like, magical elf or Ewok performed some sort of voodoo magic over there in that freaking corner. It kind of pissed me off. Anyway, I'm going to tell you why I'm sort of not excited about the new map pack. The main reason is, is that, and you guys may disagree with me, but a lot of people I do know agree with me. And, you know, let me know in the comments if, you know, you've experienced the same thing. But I don't think they put as much effort in the new maps as they do the f original maps. And it might be, and it might just be me, but... I, I really don't like the way none of the new maps are, have ever been designed. I don't. The, it looks like they always screw up the spawns in that in the new maps, and for some reason there's always like lag or something in it, or everything's like real jittery in the new maps. And I'm I, I really think that they just do it so that you just stay interested in the game until the next one comes out. That might be the reason. And I might be wrong, but I don't know. I'm just not as thrilled when the new maps come out as I am the old maps and I might be you know I might stand corrected when the new maps come out but you know like in Modern Warfare 3 the new maps I really didn't like them in fact I avoided them a lot so you know I might I'm I'll see but I'm not really that excited about it um, I know they have a gun they're gonna give to everyone with the new maps called the Peacekeeper I'm totally not thrilled about that at all I, I really could care less I don't think the guns gonna be you know that good they're not gonna intentionally make a gun overpowered for everyone they usually end up fixing overpowered guns in the game, so I don't think they're going to make this one to be that special. I think they're just making it for the noobs who think that uh, getting this gun is going to like revolutionize the game and change their you know, KDR or whatever the case may be. But it shouldn't be about KDR. It should be about just having fun. So I'm going to try and have fun. I'm going to you know, try and... I'm going to give the, you know, the good old college try and you know give these new, new, new map packs a shot and see how they go. Um, but, you know, usually I do pretty stupid... Uh, so I usually not do very well on the new maps, but we'll see. Um, Machinima did send me a clip of, uh, some gameplay of the new maps that, you know, you guys haven't seen yet. And some of them look interesting. There's one that's very snipey. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of, like, areas for snipers. Um, so for people that like sniping, uh, that's gonna be really good for them. But I'm not a real big sniper, so I'm not gonna really enjoy it too much. Uh, not because I don't like sniping, it's just I'm not good at it, and at least I admit it. You know, some people just go, I don't like sniping because uh, I don't think it requires any skill. Or I like sniping because quickscoping is for pussies. No, I mean, quickscoping does require some sort of skill, I understand that. I'm just not good at it. So, and I don't think I'm ever going to be good at it. So, I'm not going to, you know, you know, hate on it, but 
I'm just not really good with the maps where people snipe at. Like, this map here, on the other side of the map, is where a lot of snipers are at. And, you know, I'm not going to try and be Superman and run around over there. So I'm just going to try and collect dog tags over here and watch these people come at me like a bunch of retards. So, anyway, we'll see. I hope you guys do enjoy the new maps if you get them. Um, again, I'm not really sure why PlayStation hasn't, you know, gotten some sort of grip or some sort of hookup on getting the maps the same time as Xbox. You would think by now that PlayStation would get some sort of, you know, respect. I mean, the PlayStation community is really strong, and I have a PlayStation 3 and a 360. I've been playing uh, 360 for Black Ops 2 only because you know, a lot of my friends, uh, Conrad and Adam and uh, my friend Ed and Honcho and some other people that I play with, they... Uh, they have a 360, so I've been playing with them, but, you know, um, Modern Warfare 3, I was a PS3, you know, whore. I love playing on PS3. I think that uh, uh, the people that play on PS3 are great. I think all my friends on PS3 are great. So it's not like I'm choosing 360 over the play PS3. It's just that for some reason, the new maps come out before on the 360, which I have no idea why. I understand that they get a deal and everything, but you would think after a while that, you know... Treyarch or Infinity Ward be like, you know, we feel really sorry for PS3. Why don't you guys, uh, you know, get some maps at the same time? But I know Microsoft probably pays a lot of freaking money. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you guys could give it a like, I'd really appreciate it. Um, shoot me a comment, you know. If not, follow me on Twitter. Say hi to me, you know. Visit my fan page on Facebook. Tell me, you know, that you're a fan or that you, that you hate me or whatever the case may be. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Peace out. Bye.